Hello, this is a tutorial for how to export 3D models from EVE Online and print them in 3D. First, I, the programs you will need are EVE Online, of course, Try Exporter, that it's an application for extracting the 3D models, uh, any 3D editing program like SketchUp or 3ds Max, I, I will use SketchUp. Then you will need a NetFab and free application, and you will need a 3D printing software or web page. I will use Shapeways. By the way, you can find me on Eve Online by the name of Nova Ikala, and you will have everything on the description. And if you can, if you make a 3D model, send me to wherever. YouTube or DeviantArt or anything. Well, let's start. So he, here we are. Install and open the Try Exporter. The first time you will have to find the game files, but they are easy to find. So when you open it, you will see this window and go to DX9 models, ships, and there you have the all the ships of the game. In models you have every model of the game, but let's go to ships for this example. I will go to the rock, which is in Caldarian battleship, and there it is. Always open the, the file you see that I selected. Then go to file, export, try model, export to 3ds format, and have it exported to whatever you like. Then we'll go to uh, any 3D modeling software. I don't know why, but this first time uh, SketchUp didn't work for me, but uh, yeah, you will have to import the file into SketchUp. Uh, that lady you see there, that is for scale, always delete it when you're working because when you export the files, they will, uh, she will make a lot of problems. And yeah, my problems are in Spanish because I'm from Spain, so sorry about that. Wait a sec, because well, I recorded this and this didn't work. Now go to Netfab, it's a free software for 3D printing tools and editing the files. And you will have to select the, uh, the import the ship, sorry. Then when it is there, like that, click uh, right click, go to scale and look for the the which axis you need to edit and I will make a 7 centimeters rock then go to part export and access TL and 3ds if you need to edit uh, I will make an example of and what kind of things you have to edit you will have to edit always things like antenna, uh, small parts, because if you make a small ship like I do, you will have a lot of problems and you won't be able to print it or you will have problems when you print it. So for example, I will uh, import the, the rock for, uh, into a SketchUp and be very patient, it takes a long while to load into the program. Any 3D modeling software works, any that you can use or you know. But I use uh, SketchUp because I don't have re any idea on how to model 3D. So yeah, it's easy with this program to just get rid of some parts or that thing. When you see that blue uh, rectangle, you can already edit it. Uh, so click, uh, right click, edit component, and then get the select tool, and you have to select the lines of the part you want to delete, one by one. 
so I will delete one of these well uh, sometimes it doesn't work so click edit again so as you can see I'm clicking some parts and pressing delete just go with it you have to delete every line every polygon so yeah just keep doing that until you finish the model or the wrong parts the theme parts when you finish deleting you have to close the hole with the pencil just close it with the easiest corners you have try to make triangles and that's that see how I close it then export it on 3ds and we'll, we'll have to uh, open netfab again and export it just like before in STL scale it again because some software does weird things to the scale of the models as you can see I'm making the same process opening the model right clicking scaling on the axis 7 centimeters again export it again always optimize the model when it prompts it to you now all we to to the internet and go to any web pages you like I use Shapeways as you can see I have already a few models and now in Shapeways you just upload it with the you go to models and you have the upload button select the file it has to be the STL model and just click upload now I will show you just the basic things you have to do but this process takes a long time the web has needs a lot of time to process and just get the models to work now you can see the model right there it will give you the the size the height the width and now just look there uh, it says that it passed but it didn't pass the thin walls now you can do this with the editing programs by yourself and look here which parts are thin or you can click there and fix thin walls I usually just take the easy route and fix walls uh, depending on the material it can support thinner or mm, not so thin walls the cheapest that you did see there the flexible plastic makes aberrations with <laughs> the thin walls as you will see right now for the best models I use there you have it. It's ugly as fuck. For the best models, I use uh, ultra frosted detail, which gives uh, an awesome look and feel to the model. And if you have to do a few models, just use flexible. It depends on how many you, how much money you have. Now click save changes. Although I didn't give him enough time to load, so it will still say thin walls you can use the thin walls again until there are no thin walls on the model and or you can do it manually but you have to get rid of that thin walls so now just save the model I was waiting there here but yeah you don't have to you will have to wait but yeah uh, whenever you have the model ready just save the save the changes go to your models and you can order it already shapeways always checks if the model is right so not all models can be printed and here you have it this is my rock 
and all the fleet. The Rocky is 7 cm, the Nagas are 5, the Merlis are 3. The Rocky is ultra frosted detail and the rest are flexible, the white and flexible plastic. As you can see, the flexible has a lot of grain to it, it looks ugly as hell, but it's the cheapest. The Nagas were about 5 dollars, no, a euros, and the Merlis were about 3 or 2 euros, more or less. You can, uh, in this scale, the little scale, you, the ships will work even though they are raining, so, because you are away from the board. So, yeah, you won't have that much problem. Painting the grainy, the grainy plastic is a bit of, it's a bit hard. Because it's grainy and you can do, can't do things like hard brushing and that kind of stuff. But anyways, it, it just gets the job done. It depends on your wallet. If I had more money, I will do. I would do the ships larger and in at least frosted detail, not ultra, but frosted detail. For example, I tried to make a scorpion, the battleship from Caldari, in five centimeters long and frosted detail, and they could, they couldn't. Do, mm, eh, sorry <laughs> about the language. I'm in Spanish, so. Uh, they couldn't do the ship because it had uh, a lot of complex parts and for a little scale that was a problem for printing and if they don't have the 80% success uh, rate they don't print the models so yeah you can use this system for any 3d model you can have a pretty good rate of x uh, success. I did print a uh, Match Warrior Online Atlas, an AS7D, with a... it was pretty cool and had a lot of detail. It was in frost, ultra frosted detail and you probably saw it in my models in shape ways. Uh, and if you are one of the people who are every day asking me about the, <laughs> the model, Please stop, uh, I can't I can't uh, give it to you, but you can do it by yourself and print it for yourself. And same with any 3D model you have. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, please, if you make any 3D model with this system or any other system, uh, check out my DeviantArt or my blog and just share it with me. I like to see these models and if you make even models please share them i love to see 3d printed things and even more for you because i i love it but i hate the fact that in if you can't paint your ships so i would love to see some pretty cool and red painted ships uh, probably i will do a, a video or post or anything in my blog or in the full thrust group when I do uh, uh, the Titan because I will do a Titan and some other ships so yeah you will see another examples of this method and yeah I, uh, the last thing to say it's always better to do it manually instead of the fixed walls tool because manually you can keep that um, crisp angles look instead of that blobby strange thing but it takes a lot of time and you have to keep uploading the model and look with where the fix uh, the thing walls are and another thing that this is for shapeways that's a great page i always printed things there they look awesome it's kind of and expensive but they are awesome they're uh, oh, how to say it ah, their support guys are awesome they make they do everything for you and uh, don't print just when you have the model try to make it the best you can because 
and they is, uh, uh, they have to measure every part of the model by handing a 3D modeling program so try to keep the their work as minimal as possible and if you're thinking on making a big model like for example 14 centimeters or so you probably can make it in ultra frosted detail without too much work or thin walls even uh, again it depends on your wallet and how much can you afford uh, ultra frosted detail scales up in the price very fast for example the the Erebus I'm thinking of making it's about 14 centimeters and in ultra frosted detail it costs about 140 euros so yeah the price goes up pretty quickly but if you can afford it uh, make a big ship for I don't know for your room or anything it will look very cool and if it's it's big you won't notice the printing lines the molds or anything you it will be perfect and if you can try to use the the best materials possible so yeah thanks for looking uh, please like share comment and yeah remember uh, share with me your creations and anything in 3D because I love to see that kind of stuff. Bye guys!